In this video, we attempt to have a relaxing night before our travel day. Attempt being the key word. So, so much for chilling tonight, huh? <laughs> It'll only take a second. He doesn't ask for much. Just everything we have. We were surprised by a Delaware campground that blew our socks off. This place is awesome. With only a small hiccup. We had an incident though. And Cody doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Well, hi, baby. Well, hi, baby. Okay, okay. Real, real. I know. You sit here and help me. Yeah, Sita. Maryland has just been great. We were sitting down on the dock the other night and talking to a guy that actually does some crabbing for himself. And he was saying that he was able to pick up 50 something crab. I think he said the limit right now is like you can catch 60 crabs a day for your own personal use. And he said it's not common, but he did have a really good day. We're getting excited about the Hershey RV show. We're still getting a lot of questions about it. We will be there on Friday and Saturday on the grounds at the show. And then Saturday we have a meet and greet set up at 2.30. So if we don't see you on the grounds, then there's an opportunity there. And we're getting excited how many people have reached out already that are gonna be there. Viewers and other creators both. So that should be a really good mix of people. I think it'll be a good time. If you guys missed our last episode, we enjoyed the boat docking competition so much. That was just a highlight for the year. We had planned that for a long time. I had a blast there. Definitely one to put on your list of things to do. I'm gonna go finish walking Charlie and uh, get dinner warmed up. And then we're gonna hang out. It's been nice. We, yeah. do, we do like to do that from time to time, just hang around camp. I know it seems like we're super busy and we are busy a lot because we have a lot of things we want to do and there's a lot of stuff on the list, but every now and then it's okay to take that night just to hang out at camp. Weather's great. We'll probably turn on the outdoor TV and just chill for a little bit. Oh, what are you doing? I miss our chiropractor. <laughs> we haven't had a chiropractor in like five years. I'm missing. We had a job at one point that one of the perks was an on-site chiropractor that came in like once a week and the whole company would just line up and get their adjustments and Dr. Nick was awesome. Let's be honest, it was a terrible place to work. That Horrible was the only work. perk. That was the only reason we stayed as long <laughs> as we did was for the free chiropractor care. You think that's true? <laughs> It was the only perk. You think they have chiropractor school? Like they have dental college? Maybe that's not a smart idea. I don't think that's a smart idea. <laughs> Worst case scenario, if it doesn't turn out right, you got a toothache, maybe a missing tooth, which can be corrected. <laughs> if somebody messes up my chiropractic care, I mean, I, I might not be able to walk. What are you looking at? It's so nasty under the front of our fifth wheel. Like the whole trailer's oh, stop looking pretty at it. clean, but like this part that's right up under the pin. Don't look at it. You want to move the chair? This part that's right over the pin box. It just looks. Let's just move the chair where you don't look at it. Or I could just clean it real quick. No one else knows it's there. I know it's there. So, so much for chilling tonight, huh? <laughs> It'll only take a second. Quit focusing on it. Look at it. Look how gross it is. Doesn't bother me. If you full-time RV and you don't have a couple five-gallon buckets, it doesn't have to be a Harbor Freight bucket. These things are great. I use one for all my grilling pellets, and I use one for rags and miscellaneous cleaning chemicals. And most of my miscellaneous cleaning chemicals are wash and wax all, an RV streaker, and some 303. That kind of takes care of everything between those few chemicals. All right, let's get this cleaned up real fast. Let's. Moral support. Oh, that's not getting it. Uh, that's an awesome stance you have there. That's really bad. I know where you can come relax and let it soak. Oh, this is so bad. I know I'm disgusted by it. So she wanted me 
to just move away and ignore this. So this was rag one from in front of the fifth wheel, both sides. Rag two and rag three. This here, folks, is quality content. Shining like a diamond now, ain't it? Finally, I can relax. I use three rags. We have a couple hours before we need to hit the road, and so we thought we'd run down to Chestertown, to the farmer's market, and I'm gonna spend as much money of Cody's as possible. We have $400, and I hope we don't spend it all. I hope not either. Too bad. We weren't too bad. I did break down and get the sourdough bread because I can't come to a farmer's market. You can't without, go anywhere. Without getting an entire loaf of bread. I don't buy it at the store. I buy it at the farmer's market because it's good. And what I'm excited about, meat. Four New York strips, a couple pounds of hamburger meat. We got some cooking to do. Yeah, I'm excited. Or you've got some cooking to do. I got some peaches. 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 <laughs> delicious peaches. Donut peaches. Was it called donut peaches? Yeah. Well, they're delicious. And figs. I'm going to try figs for the first time. I'm not. We'll see. I'm not even sure how to eat a fig, but I'm going to I'm going to assume you don't eat the outside. That was messy. It tastes like a really really sweet peach kind of. I'm saving all my room. All of this is going right here in my belly. Tried something new today. There you go. So now I gotta hope the rain holds out so I can go back and get everything tidied up and we can hook up and get gone here in a little bit, like in the next hour. It only rained because you didn't do anything last night. Well, you can eat the outside. You just eat the whole thing? So I was making a mess for no reason. Figs and their leaves are packed with nutrients like copper, B6, you've got magnesium, potassium, vitamin K. Today was a short drive day, but we still learned our lesson and went through all of the steps to get ready. No longer will we ever say, oh, it's just down the road, because the last time we did that, it bit us. We for like three days straight, it bit us. For three days. And it was the gift that kept on giving for like two weeks afterwards yes. as we got everything cleaned up. So we, t we topped off the tank. Although we didn't need it, we went ahead and went through the process. We topped off the tank. We ate. We went through all the steps that we normally would go through, even on a super long day. The only thing we didn't do was pack food. For but the car. Right. Yeah. But we ate before we came. I've eaten about 20 figs. I ate one. Cody wasn't a fan of the texture, but they taste they almost taste like... They taste kind of like peaches, but the texture is very... Like a super ripe peach. Yeah, it's very soft and squishy. It... <clears throat> like a super ripe peach. <laughs> I like a too ripe peach almost. Yeah. Yeah, I, I get that. The flavor was fine, but the... the which I'm picky on food anyway, you guys know that. But the flavor was fine, but the texture was a little off-putting. I, I put it that way. Yeah, I get it. I totally get the texture thing, but I enjoy them. And all I knew they were loaded with good stuff, so I'm excited. And I managed to get out of the house without breaking into the sourdough bread. That won't last long. When we first booked this campground that we're headed to in Delaware, they asked us to give an ETA. Of course, I booked it months and months and months ago, so I'm not gonna remember that. So I did put that in my notes in the calendar, which is how we track all of our campgrounds. Any details, we put a deposit down if we owe anything. If it's back, a back in, end, pull through, full hookup, you kind of put all that stuff on there. Right, if there's anything odd, we put the notes in because there's no way I'm going to remember. So we did go just call them and let them know we're about 10 minutes out.
place is a little different. All of our hookups are on the back side of the RV, which makes things a little tricky. If you don't keep a lot of extra, it could be a problem. As far, I think we have plenty. Come here, Chuck. I think we'll be good, but that's really the only downside. The way we're parked, we kind of have to run under the camper. So it makes things a little tricky. Cody's taking a little more time setting up but at the end of the day, it's not a big deal. We're full hookup. I mean, they have everything we need here. And I love it when there's animals on site. Charlie always gets a little squeaky when we first get somewhere. He doesn't ask for much. Just everything we have. Oh, get it. Oh, get it. Get that ball. That's mine now. It took all three sewer hoses. I didn't have to stretch the last one all the way out about halfway. I used two water hoses for 50 foot and probably had, you know, 10 or so foot extra. But yeah, it works out. Plenty of power cable with that 50 foot power cable. That's, oh, yeah. that's kind of a no brainer. Delaware is so tiny. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it if I don't get it on here. All right, Delaware. Make sure you get it in the right spot, too. How would you know? I'd know. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh, babe. Nobody will ever know. The whole world knows now. <laughs> little Delaware. Sweet little Delaware. Channel locks are good for anything. Food for you. I got nothing. Notice they have these lines that run along the top. That's supposed to help with the aerial predator. So we learned that at the regenerative farm that we visited in Illinois. They're following me because they think they have that I have food. I got nothing, guys. Chops are almost done, probably about three or four more minutes on those. The shrimp, maybe five or six. Seems like we're gonna be having us a nice three o'clock lunch here in just a little bit. I think we're gonna like it here. We might be just a little bit tight between rigs. There's not a there's not a ton of space between sides, but you got a lot of space in front of and behind you. They're nice long side. Yeah, it does it's a nice non-campground feel. The only problem I have so far is that our hookups are all on one side. So that's kind of a mess. The other interesting thing is that there's no breakers at all. Normally I would put my surge protector in and flip the breaker, make sure all's good. There's no breakers here. But I did just like always, plug my power watchdog into it, wait until I hear the click, make sure I don't have any codes. Then I unhooked everything, hooked everything back up, plugged it in, waited for the click again. So the power's good, everything's fine. Just a little bit different on the hookups here. But it's doable, that's why we always carry extra water hoses, that's why we always have extra sewer hoses, and that's why, even though I hate it, I travel with a 50 foot, 50 amp power cord. We had an incident though, and Cody doesn't want to talk about it. If there's one thing that makes my life flash before my eyes, it's spiders. Yeah. Spider! Ah! Kill it! No, right here! Ah! Where'd it go? It ain't there now. Where, where were we? The trail lab. And so apparently Cody had some rags he was sitting outside to dry last night. Obviously it rained. So I just scooped them up and I tossed them in the shower and I'm like, we'll just deal with it when we get there. We'll hang them up and dry them. Hold that thought for one second. Then I heard Cody squelch and it was a very fearful squelch. And I heard some slapping. <laughs> so I knew it was something bad. And apparently I carried a very, very large spider into our camper in those racks. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> 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 
I'm glad he found it. I was a little concerned at where it came from, so I'm a little relieved that at least it was something that I carried inside just a couple hours ago, but <laughs> it made its home in our shower. Then the fun part, I don't know if you told him this, is I tried to slap it with another wet rag and kill it, and then I couldn't find it. And then when oh. I went to change shirts, it was on me. <laughs> And I knocked it off and it went in the floor and I stomped it with the boot. So apparently wet rags don't kill whatever kind of spider this was, but it's gone now. Ugh, so nasty. I don't know why I brought that up. I just thought that I would share. Thankfully, we haven't had a lot of pest issues in the RV, but in the past when we were stationary, we used just those standard like ortho home defense, those regular things that you would use in the home just because that's what we had. And so that's what we carried. What do you guys do? Anything, any natural options out there? I think that would be interesting for us to see in the comments and for people to share because that's something that we all deal with. I know in the past we've asked that question about the boat and we had some people reach out to us and tell us to use Grandpa Gus's mouse packets. That's but right. I don't know if that does anything for like bugs and spiders and stuff like that, but it definitely does a good job keeping the mice out of the boat over the winter, that's for sure. The putt-putt here is free. This place is awesome. That's gonna have to wait though, because I need to kick a little butt. That was almost a hole in one. Mark me down for two, Johnson. Read them in a week. You're gonna have to help me hold some of this stuff. What stuff? The card and the pencil? Yeah. I feel like I gotta stoop so low to do this. Baby, hang on. What? <laughs> I shouldn't tell you. Oh, I just read it there. You can get a big boy one. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> I wouldn't have told you. <laughs> There's one. No. Oh. Just like that. Quiet the audience, quiet, quiet, quiet. Oh, I'm not sure that's what she was aiming for. <laughs> Classic mistake. This is it, you got any last words? Champions. Six, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, nine. You got me. You got me by one. This is one of those campgrounds you would just never have to leave if you didn't want to. You got indoor outdoor pool over there, massive dog park, playgrounds for the kids, putt -putt, glamping, dome. glamping domes, petting zoos. Well, I don't think it's technically a petting zoo because you can't get in there, but you've got animals all around, goats, ducks, chickens, guineas. Peacocks, turtles, what else could you want? I'm an adult, I'm having a blast. They have a little shack, they call the egg shack, that's right outside of our camper. And it's on the honor system. They have fresh eggs in there and a little cooler. Of course, they have some little snacks that you can buy, which is dangerous, being so close. I think we bought enough of those in town. But the fresh eggs, it's cheaper than what you would get at a farmer's market. The feeding cups for the animals. Firewood, things like that, yeah, so you can yeah 
feed some of the animals and buy the little cups for like a dollar. This turned out to be about 65 a night, tax and all, that's with a weekly discount. Was, I was expecting quite a bit more, actually. Well, and with that, we're really close to the town, so we're like 15 minutes away from grocery stores, Planet Fitness, so it kind of checks those boxes we've talked about before that play in as we start to do our travel planning. And yeah, 60 bucks is over our average, but this place is worth it. For this area, actually, the price is pretty good. Yeah. And I would much prefer this country feel at night. It's so quiet. Peaceful. Oh, it's so nice. Well, so Compared to the $100 a night we paid to stay at the KOA in Nashville, which was a nice park, but it was loud, it was busy, there was a lot of traffic, a lot of screaming kids. It's funny how it can vary from area to area, but... The Northeast is definitely more expensive. We found that out on our first trip up here. No doubt. So even if we don't mention it, the camp runs we stay at, the places we visit, we try to pop that down in the description and the pinned comments, just so you have a resource, quick access if you need it. Until next time, we're going to go hang out a little bit, maybe hit the indoor outdoor pool. It's not a maybe. I'm getting in the pool tonight. <laughs> and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Be safe, guys. We're sitting here by this river. Lord, I came back with a bunch of ones. I like that. All that money. Make it rain. Where can I put all these ones? Decreases constipation and serves as a prebi prebiotic. We're going to cut out Healthy the stool bacteria. part, right? Yeah, but I'm telling you. There you go. That, that's why you should eat some fig. People with irritable bowel syndrome. Yeah, that's going to do the opposite. I probably shouldn't be chewing on these little pencils. Ooh, gross, babe. You just contracted some I, virus. I just, I was, I had, I had nowhere to put it. You immediately contracted something. You're probably right. <laughs> Them some pretty sweet ninja moves you got. I kind of thought so. <laughs> Cody's at home here. <laughs> <laughs> Move the dog poop bags. Eris, no, Eris, no. Eat your own poop bag. Uh -uh. Nope. Leave it. Nope. <laughs>